Hello, welcome to Tech Web Dots. This is C Sharp tutorial series, and yes, you are guessing right. Well, today we will discuss all about design patterns. Okay, so let's start without wasting time. So, what what we will learn today? Design pattern, what and why we need them. Design pattern history, type of design pattern, design pattern classifications, when to apply. This is very important. And for basic understanding about the object-oriented concept, if you already have, then it will really help you to understand design patterns. Okay, and it contains abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and cancellation, interface classes, abstract classes. Okay, so I will suggest you to watch Solid Design Pattern Principle, and you will see that link in the description of this video. All sources available on my blog. Okay, so. What is the design pattern? Design pattern in object-oriented programming world helps the developer to make better software design, or you can say better application design. Okay, so that there should not be any problem after working on that. Design pattern provides solution to real-world software applications. Design pattern are about applying reusable design and interaction of object. Reusable means. One design that we have created, it is just like template, and we can use that template or that design anywhere, wherever required. Okay, so after applying design pattern, it provides flexible solution to solve common design problems. Okay, so we can say design patterns is a template for solve a problem in real time situations. Okay, and writing the code with the design pattern will make your application more reliable, scalable. And maintainable, okay. And the one line said for the design patterns, a pattern is a recurring solution to a problem in context, okay. It it means the context decide what pattern, what recurring pattern can be applied and can work as a solution, okay. So the history of this is the four authors Gamma, Richard, Johnson, and John introduced. Gang of four patterns in software world. Okay, in earlier 1994, they published a book, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software, and this book is very famous around the world for the concept of design patterns. There are 23 gang of four design patterns are considered the basic for all other design patterns. Okay, so gang of four have divided the book in two parts. One. Explaining about pros and cons of object-oriented programming, and second thing, describe the evolution of 23 classic software design patterns. Now, we will talk about classification. Gang of four, 23 design pattern are divided into three main categories based on three design problem area, or you can say circle of the software architecture or web application world. Okay, and those are creational. Structural and behavioral. As we progress through this course, we will discuss classification with very easy and real-time example. Okay, so let's move ahead. What is creational design pattern? As the name suggests, this design pattern provides mechanism of various object creation, which can be reusable with the help of existing code and increase the flexibility. Okay, so. What is the classification? You can see there are five types of creational pattern are there. One is abstract, builder, factory, prototype, singleton. Okay. Next is a structural design pattern. As the name suggests, this pattern helps us to create and implement the flexible and efficient structure, and also helps us to implement how to assemble object and classes into larger structure. Okay, this is the beauty of this structural design pattern, and its classification are adapter, bridge, composite, decorator, facet, flyweight, and proxy design pattern. Okay, next is behavioral design pattern. As the name suggests, object behavior and responsibilities between objects are very much important, and this design pattern are concerned with algorithm as well. Okay, means how the flow will be there. In the object, or you can say between the object. Okay, so the classification of this is chain responsibility, command, interpreter, iterator, mediator, memento, observer, state, strategy, 
template method and visitor okay so the most important thing is when to apply and when not so if you have the knowledge already then you can take the design as a reference and check does the design pattern really works as expected or it is solving your problem if yes then only use a pattern okay otherwise there no there is no need the most important part of applying pattern to your code base is knowing when and where to apply each pattern this is very important when and where to apply each pattern if you implement just for the sake of pattern yes this is pattern we should apply no you should not do this you will probably do more damage to your project or existing project so we have decided to go over most commonly used pattern first it means on the upcoming videos i will discuss the most important design pattern first then we will cover other patterns as well and give some very easy and real time example step by step so at the end you will be thinking about how can i identify a software design problem either my design is having a problem or not we will discuss this thing in our upcoming video i hope you like this video if you have any question please leave a comment in our upcoming video we will discuss in detail what are the creation design patterns with example okay thanks for watching stay safe